Hello, Maddie, also known as Hello Interloper here. So, I finally have 280 polygons, which means I'm going to be able to pull the 5 times hatcher for 250 polygons. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull past that because, simply put, I don't have the polygons. Um, but it seems here that step 3, which I'm doing, has one Summer Blast version unit guaranteed. And all units are five star or above. So I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that I get um, either Artemis or Enkidu, because they're both really good against uh, Lupica. And um, if I get any of the other ones, that's fine. Uh, just hoping that I get the six star capable ones rather than the five star capable ones. <laughs> Alrighty, here it goes. A little nervous. Now, this is all going to be rainbow because five stars show up as rainbow, so, you know, not going to be surprised by the rainbows at all. That is a trick. Alright, this should be the summer unit. Metatron. Alright, not bad. She is a green, so I'm going to star her because she is a six star. So let's, let's take a peek at her here. She has one panel to a super crash panel massive, up to 12 panels except green and hearts to hearts, boost party defense by a thousand for two turns. She is a deity mech recovery type, ultra damage to one enemy based on own recovery, and boost party recovery for two turns. She also has vaccine, virus ineffective on self, and when she destroys 20 panels or more in a turn, she recovers some HP. And then, of course, she boosts her own power in Summer Blast quests. Pretty nice. All right, something else. Ooh, what is going to be? Hercules. Okay, so he's a five-star capable. Um, and that's fine because he's human-animal, so that means he can probably be used in... Um, the human 30 limit uh, Tower of the Queen quests. Lower other unit skill turns by one. That's pretty cool. Um, boost deity and human attack for two turns. And absorb green, yellow, and junk for high effect. Massive damage to one enemy and boost blue unit recovery for one turn. And the ability is just to boost power of all own attacks in Summer Blast quests, which isn't really that useful. Alright, repeat, repeat, and... Ooh, what is this going to be? That's Robin Hood, I believe. Five-star version of Robin Hood. Mass boost to green unit attack, defense, and recovery. Huh. That's actually really interesting because that it does have the defense boost for three turns. That's going to be really useful. And also human and cost 28. That's going to be extremely useful for Tower of the Queen. High damage to one enemy, that's not really important. What matters is a defense boost and it can be used in the cost limited 28 um Tower of the Queen quest and human. So if there ever is, I'm not sure if there is a limit for cost and human where the cost is 28 but definitely a good unit to have and these little balls look like uh what is the name bb8 deconstructed <laughs> all right so overall yeah i mean i would have of course preferred to get one of the um the yellow units, but I'm fine with Metatron for now, specifically because she does not have a weakness against, you know, um, Lupica. So Lupica, of course, is blue, and blue and green really don't have any interaction whatsoever. Um, so, I mean, I can still use her in Lupica quests. Um, it's just not going to be amazing, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, that's that, and if you guys are pulling, I hope that you have the best of luck. 
I don't know if I'll be able to scrape up uh, 500 before the end of this, but I would really like Anki Doer, um, Artemis. I think their scores are, I think Anki Doer is an 89 and Artemis is a 90 or a 91. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I remember none of them were really that amazing or incredible outside of the Summer Blast quests. But, um, like, outside of this event in general. But still, for the fact that they kind of guarantee a lot of things, uh, that would be pretty cool. So, also, is this after step four? Oh, so not step four. Step four has one six-star Summer Blast version unit guaranteed. Oh, would you look at that? So the last step, I was only guaranteed a Summer Blast unit. And that included the five-star capable ones. So I got really lucky that I got four out of five of those pulls as Summer Blast units. And I actually got a six-star capable one because they could have all been the five-star ones. All right. So um, it does seem like the rates are kind of high because I did see a lot of screenshots where people pulled two, three, or even four of the uh, Summer Blast units in in this, and some of them also got a Perma unit thrown in there, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I guess this is kind of like a uh, mostly a novelty hatcher, because the hatchers, I mean, the, the units aren't spectacular as far as things go, but they are in general, more um, powerful than the average unit that you get just from the perma hatcher, um, and most of them are upgraded versions of themselves. Most. So uh, yeah, I, I would say if you need to fill in gaps in your yellow and green teams, this is a great hatcher to pull for sure because they're all yellow or green. Otherwise, uh, maybe save your polys. But if you definitely want to take part in uh, farming Lupica in the best way possible, you definitely want to aim for one of the electric ones, the yellow ones. And my stomach just growled. Why am I hungry? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, well. Anyway, good luck to everybody. Take care.